Hi, I'm Amanda Cavallaro, a developer advocate at Vonage, and today I welcome you to think about a scenario with me. What if someone tries to impersonate my user's accounts? What if cyber criminals have a copy of their SIM card and can receive their two-factor authentication codes? Let's see how the Vonage SIM Swap API can help your customers prevent these unpleasant scenarios. SIM swap fraud is a malicious technique where criminals deceive mobile providers into transferring a victim's phone number to a SIM card under their control. Once they have hijacked the phone number, they can access sensitive accounts such as personal emails, bank accounts, or any application that relies on phone-based verification. This fraud exploits a vulnerability in the two-factor process, making it a significant threat to account security and personal data protection. The Vonage SIM Swap API is a powerful API designed to mitigate the risks of SIM swap fraud. By communicating directly with the network operators, also known as Communication Service Providers (CSPs). The API can detect if a user's phone number has been recently linked to a new SIM card. This detection mechanism helps to prevent account takeovers by identifying suspicious activity related to SIM card changes. Built on open standards from the Camara project, an open source initiative within the Linux Foundation, the Vonage SIM Swap API provides a reliable and efficient way to enhance the security of applications that use two-factor authentication. The SIM Swap API verifies the activation date of a SIM card on the mobile network through two endpoints. Has the SIM swap occurred during the last n hours? When did the last SIM swap occur? The SIM swap API reduces account takeover risks by determining if the SIM card linked to the phone number has recently changed. Head to our customer dashboard and use the sandbox to start using the SIM swap API right away. It allows you to work with live data for up to five phone numbers added to an allow list. Once you decide to use the API in production, approval from the CSPs using the network registry is needed. If you have questions, talk to us in our developer community Slack.